Today we're going to be talking about your browser cache. What is it? How does it work? Why does it need to be cleared? And how you can clear it? The browser cache is a temporary storage location on your computer for files downloaded by your browser to display websites. Files that are cached locally include any documents that make up a website, such as HTML files, PHP files, CSS style sheets, JavaScript scripts, graphic images, multimedia content, I mean GIF files, JPEG files, all of that gets downloaded into the cache when you look at a web page. So exactly how does this cache work? Well, when you revisit a website, the browser checks which content was updated in the meantime on the site and only downloads updated files or what is not already stored and located in the cache. This reduces the bandwidth usage on both the user and the server side and allows your pages to load a lot faster. So the cache is especially useful when you have a slower limited internet connection because it doesn't have to go out and download all of those same pages again. So if this cache thing is making things so fast for you, why would you ever need to clear the browser cache? Well, it takes up space. The browser cache can get very large and use a lot of your hard drive space with data from these websites, some of which you may never visit again. You can limit the maximum cache size with certain browser settings, but it's still useful to occasionally clear it up yourself to speed things up. You'll also notice that sometimes web pages will change and you won't see the changes. That's because your cache is holding on to them. At that point, you have two options. You can bypass the cache on a one-time basis, or you can clear your cache. To bypass the cache, in most Windows web browsers, you can press the Control and F5 key combination to perform what they call a forced reload bypassing the cache and refreshing the page data. On the Mac OS X browsers, you press Command plus Shift plus R to perform a forced reload. If you actually want to go ahead and clear out the browser cache so you don't have to bypass it, each browser has a way on their menu in the settings to do it, but each browser has a little different menu structure. There are shortcuts to open the browser menus used to clear your cache, cookies, and history that work on almost all browsers. If you're on a Windows machine, press Control plus Shift plus Delete. If you're on a Mac, press Command plus Shift plus Delete, and the settings menu should come up. Once you've cleared out your cache, your website display problem should be pretty much resolved. Well, if the web pages still are not displaying correctly, there's a few other things you can try. You can add or remove the www's from the site address. Most sites will work with and without it, and the browser considers it two different sites. You can use a different browser, so if you're in Chrome, try Opera or IE or one of the others, you can go to a different computer. That also starts you over. Or you can try using your browser's privacy browsing mode to see if the problem is actually caused by something other than the cache or the cookies. It may be something else entirely. If you decide to search for more information about caching, you'll need to know what browser you're using. Whether you're using Windows or a Mac, the vast majority of users today are using some version of the Google Chrome browser. In fact, 59% of all users are using Chrome. But no matter which browser you use, the thing that all browsers have in common is the need for cache management. So as you move forward on your internet browsing life, remember, you should schedule yourself to clear your cache regularly. This will help keep your browsing experience as fast and as accurate as possible. When you think you're getting the wrong information from a website or it's acting kind of batty, remember to try clearing the cache to see if that clears it up. And you got to know that some people turn their caching off entirely. 
Well, this is okay if you have a very fast internet connection. Remember, caching was designed to help response time for slower connections. And in our days of fiber, a lot of people can get away with not caching at all, so they never have this problem. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.